What happened was five years of digitalization, the pandemic has crammed it into one it year. It's almost become imperative to make it happen. Where are we in terms of the production lines and the manufacturing in Malaysia across industries in getting digitalized? Where are we? From a manufacturing perspective, the e-commerce has pushed manufacturing to evolve and to get digitally connected quite um, quite a lot, you know, after the pandemic. No choice, right? Otherwise, you just can't survive. The yeah. Lazadas of the world, Amazons, are yeah. putting so much pressure on the organization so yes. as to innovate Correct. and supply products and large offering yeah. available to the customer. Now, you cannot make that happen yeah. till that time you are digitally connected. Last two years, everything went digital. Now, it is almost seamless. In, in the past, uh, we are putting people, men, on platform, for example. But when it comes to pandemic, we have to uh, multiple our effort eh, to uh, do a remote monitoring, uh, improve the technologies. Yeah. Technology in terms of the, the sensors, the more reliable sensors. Technology in terms of the controllers, more reliable. And with the cyber security that comes along with it because yeah. we are afraid of the hackers around that. How do you prepare your BCP in the lingo of the C-suites, the business continuity plan? What other unprecedented thing that will not grind everything to a halt anymore. In terms of business continuity, we have a principle which is called redundancies. E essentially, in whatever that we do in terms of design, manufacturing and serving, there is a digital twin that runs in parallel at the same time. Digitally? D digitally. And we use uh, augmented re reality, AR, yeah. we use okay. virtual reality and sometimes okay. mixed reality cool. in order to be able to, to yeah. see that. Yeah. So I think the push from an operating model perspective has been to localize the production in every country so that even if such disaster hits, A, we are able to supply locally with something very quickly. B, same product being made in, a, in, the, in the country which is next door, so that you know if something happens here, it can be supplied out of Indonesia, etc. Et Historically, how people do maintenance is always by scheduled maintenance. Yes. Right? So the way forward is to do more than just scheduled maintenance, perhaps yeah. to do on um, predictive maintenance. So how we do predictive maintenance is to have the diagnostics of your field devices Correct. know that the health status of the device itself and also if something were to go wrong for the yeah. past few months, is it operating in order yeah. as how it has actually been uh, designed for? Yeah. If it's not, then these are the little signals that tells that something will go wrong. Yeah. And moving on from there, there is also another step what we call prescriptive maintenance. If you know that this, is, this fault is going to happen, then what are the next measures or what are the next mitigation can do to avoid or at least minimize the impact of this um, fault. So this is what we can do with technology.